In this problem, we are told that radioactive gold 198, which is abbreviated 198AU, is used in imaging the structure of the liver. It has a half-life of 2.67 days. The patient was given 50 milligrams of the isotope. So it's tempting when we're reading a word problem to try to use all the numbers, but in this problem, the gold 198 or this 198AU, this is all a name. So these are not numbers that we're going to use in the problem. I'm looking for keywords as to which model I might use, and here I find the keyword half-life. So that's important, and the half-life is given. I'm also told that the patient was given 50 milligrams, which sounds like a starting amount. So I'm looking at my orange box, which is asking me to come up with an equation for this scenario. And since I have the word half-life off of my notes, I get that P of T is equal to P0 times 0 0.5 with an exponent of T over D. So this is the half-life model, and we need to fill in numbers here for everything except for P of T and T. So P of T, the population, remains a variable because we can calculate that for any moment in time. P0, the starting amount, the patient was given 50 milligrams, so I'm able to fill that in. The 0 0.5 is because it's a half-life, so 50% remaining. The time remains a variable because we can look at how much of this isotope is in our patient at any point in time. However, the D needs to fill, be filled in, and the D is that half-life. So from this problem, 2.67 days. Now it is important to note that the time in the scenario is in days. And that comes into play here with question number two, where we're going to use our formula and our calculator. So it asks us how many milligrams will remain in the patient one week later, but our problem and our model is in days. So I want to change this one week to be seven days later, so that I'm working within the same unit of time throughout the problem. And so it's asking me how many milligrams, so it's asking me to figure out the population in milligrams at another point in time. And so I will fill in P of T equals 50 times 0 0.5, and my exponent is 7 over 2.67. Now, this is a challenge on your calculator, but it's not difficult, okay? We just have to make use of our parentheses. So on my calculator, I'm going to type 50 times 0 0.5 caret key, because that tells my calculator I'm going to the exponent. But there is this division problem in the exponent, and if I divide it out ahead of time, it does not divide out equally, uh, to like a whole number or even a nice decimal. And so I really want to use the fraction itself. So I put care key parenthesis, seven, and I hit the divide button. It'll show up as a slash bar, but divided by 2.67, and then I'll end the parenthesis. So go ahead, give it a try on your calculator as I'm typing on mine, and make sure that you are able to type it correctly so that you could do one of these problems on your own. And so on my calculator, I get a value of 8.12 milligrams when I type this. So population at some point in time will equal 8.12 milligrams. And there are more decimals there. And again, in this case, we can decide how to round on homework, follow your directions. So that answers that question. We move on to question number three. And it says, if a doctor needs the patient to eliminate at least 65% of the med before running another test, how many days will the patient need to wait before having the next test? So it's asking me how many days. It's asking me for time. So time is my question. And these, whenever we need to know time, that is when we're going out to use Desmos. But first we need to do some setup. 
So this problem did not give me an amount that they're looking for. So it's not like when the patient has five milligrams remaining, they can run the next test. It uh, gave me a percentage. And so I really need to understand what my model means in order to use that percentage. So all of our models calculate P of T and P of T is a population at some point in time. And since it is a population, it is what remains. And that is a different word than what's in the problem. So the problem does not say 65% remains, it says eliminate 65%. So the original dose, so in this case 50 milligrams, but in any case the original dose, which is the P sub zero, is equal to 100% of the med given. So now we want to eliminate. We understand that as a subtraction kind of word. So I'm going to eliminate, which means I'm going to subtract 65% because the problem told me. So I do that subtraction and that gives me 35% remains. So Easiest way to use these numbers is to use the 100 as the P0 and use the 35 as the P of T because P of T is what remains. So that gives me numbers to fill into my equation. So 35 is the percentage remaining, 100% is the percentage that was given, our formula has a half-life, so the 0.5 for half and the T over 2.67. So we use the P0 is they took 100% of the dose and the PT 35% is remaining. Now I wanna solve this on Desmos, which requires two equations. So I'm gonna use Y equals 35 as the equation for the left-hand side of the formula. And I'll use Y equals 100 times 0 0.5 to the x over 2.67 as the second part of my equation. So we'll bring in Desmos. First equation, y equals 35. Second equation, 100 times 0 0.5 to the, and I'm going to use parentheses here just like we did, although I don't think you'd have to because um, the font change to exponent, so as long as you don't leave that exponent part, you're going to be good, but I'm going to use them just because that has to be grouped together just like we did on our personal calculators. So x divided by um, 2.67. There I've got the entirety of the exponent, that whole math problem is up there in the exponent with those parentheses. And I forgot my y equals, and now you can see here that the calculator did graph it because it was generous enough to think that I was meaning y equals, but I will go back and type that in. And so again, I see the 35 is this horizontal line coming across. I see the exponential curve and they meet here at 4.044. And so how many days they have to wait four days before they have their next test. So ordered pair that I got was 4.044. Four, and that got us to 35% remained. This is my X, so my time here, my X is 4 
days. So on this one, we worked on all three outcomes. Our first outcome is to write the model, and that was based on the keywords, and we are given those models. We do not need to memorize them. Second outcome is to use our calculator, and to use our calculator as a tool to figure out values for the population, which we did. And the final outcome is to be able to solve for t, and we did that using the graph on Desmos.